Welcome to Tech Brothers Amir. In this video, we are going to learn about the answer of this question. Each time you run your pipeline, it gets stuck in queue or progress status. What steps you will take? So this is actually a very common question and this can happen if you are running SSIS or Informatica and all that. Those products have been running on, you know, from years on your dedicated machines. Now with the Azure Data Factory, the service is running on the cloud and you are, you know, dealing with a lot of different data sources and a lot of networking and there are tons of things can go wrong because Microsoft developed this service and now they have this uh, uh, updates going on the upgrades going on maybe they have a problem with data center and every time you run this uh, pipeline it gets stuck you know so uh, I, if I will be you I will not wait for it if it gets stuck in queue or every time it go in progress and uh, don't do anything and it is just stuck right there I will uh, first uh, couple of things I will make sure uh, one, if uh, I'm reading the data from different sources, uh, I'm able to read the data in different uh, other tools. Uh, let's say if I'm reading the data from uh, uh, Azure SQL or uh, from uh, my main instance or from my on-premises SQL, uh, then I will make sure there is not open transaction and all that. That's not even letting my select query to run and return the data. Same way. Uh, I will check the destination as well where there is no lock-in and blocking and all that happening and if uh, my source and the destination is just fine and now you every time I run the pipeline it gets stuck it means there is some problem going on with the Azure Data Factory so I will go ahead and create the ticket right away instead of waiting and um, I have seen some scenarios where people uh, pipeline gets stuck for four hours six hours and uh, uh, they had to sometime you know Microsoft tell them like hey you need to upgrade your uh, self hosted IR because um, there was uh, they were using old uh, self-hosted IR version or uh, you know there was this issue going on uh, on the Microsoft side uh. So it is normal when people are running hundreds of pipeline and think about that. I don't know if the number, um, the number of clients Microsoft is handling right now, and uh, how many you know pipelines they're running every minute or second. So that could be huge number, and the throttling can be happening on uh, some of the pipelines. Maybe if their servers have some problem. They may be uh, releasing a new updates, and that caused those problems. So I will suggest you go ahead and create uh, your ticket with Microsoft if your pipeline get in the queue. For Unless it's five seven minutes, it's not moving forward. If it is uh, in progress, but it's not making progress, uh, uh, contact Microsoft and ask them what's going on. So they might be look on the back end for their logs and all that and find you out uh, the exactly problem going on in that region or with the, your data factory and uh, that's how you can get this solved and uh, keep moving forward with your uh, daily ETL loads. Um, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.